today I am doing a what's in my purse and I know I did one for 2015 already and I only like to do like one a year and honestly I would do like a summer what's in my purse but honestly this is not really a summer type bag but I'm obsessed with my purse I've had this now for a couple months and for me to keep a purse for a couple months is like a big deal so I figured it's lived in it's worn in I truly genuinely love it that I want to document this forever it's so funny if you go back to my original what's in my purse I think it's like a Hello Kitty purse and then I upgraded to like it wasn't even upgraded. It was like an Elvis Cadillac purse. That was like $80. So I feel like this is showing the progression of my life and who I am. And this bag is kind of become a basic bitch bag because every girl has it. But honestly, I don't care because it is the best bag I've ever owned. It is sturdy. It is beautiful. It goes with everything. It fits a ton in. I'm obsessed with this bag. I get the most compliments of this bag than any other bag that I've owned. So I thought I had to do a what's in my purse and share it with you guys because it is amazing and I know so many girls have this purse but for good reason because it's actually amazing and I hope I don't have lipstick on my teeth. I don't wear dark colors all that often on my lips so I might be doing a lot of that. Um, so anyways, the bag I've been carrying around, actually I just took my phone out because I was tweeting but usually I have my phone in there, is my Givenchy bag and it looks like this. I believe it's the N Antigona. Antigona. Honestly, I am so not even like I can't say I'm not a brand name girl because I love brand name bags, like luxury bags, but I don't know anything really about this brand, but I do believe it's, it's A-N-T-I-G-O-N-A, -N -N -A. maybe, maybe it's not even, I feel like that's the bag, and it's like the Antigona Black Satchel, I got it off Barneys.com, so, you know, there's not that many of these style bags, so if you see it, it's there, and that's what it looks like, and here's my little Fendi guy, and normally I have this thing closed, but it just so happens that I did a um, modeling shoot uh, for Glitchy Glam uh, a couple days ago, so I kind of packed it to the brim, but I'll show you, when I take it out, I'll show you what's not normally in here. I mean, it is it is usually full, but it's maybe not this full, so there's a lot more in here than um, normal, but I didn't like pack it any special, it just so happened that I hadn't cleaned it out in a while, so this is a good time to clean it. Um, so right away, my phone, I kind of, I usually have this thing like glued to my hand, so sometimes it's in my purse, like I just throw it in when I'm out the door to make sure it's in there, um, but I just took it out because I was tweeting, so um, I have my phone, and my phone is just the iPhone uh, 6 Plus, it just looks like this, and I think I had that in my last What's My Purse, which was my Balenciaga bag, which I still really love, and I know that was my purse, I said I'm not buying a purse till like the rest of the year, till summer, but five purses since then, so let's just be real. Um, then I have my Trish sunglasses. These are my custom sunglasses from the Ill Lions. I've talked about it before. They're like an Etsy shop, and I love these sunglasses, and I just throw them in there. I don't know. I just, I love them. Um, then I have, I'm like literally just going from like, that's what it looks like inside. If you guys are wondering, I'm literally just like pulling out first things I see sort of thing. Um, then my wallet is just a YSL wallet, which I actually um, just got this. I really like it, but I just got a new wallet that's like a purple like metallic, and it's not designer or anything, and I really like that because it's a little bigger than this, so I think I'm going to switch to that, but I really love this wallet. I mean, I don't get rid of my wallets. I really love this one. Um, I think YSL makes a really, really great wallets and cosmetic bags and um, like just bags in general. I mean, YSL is like one of my favorite brands because I do like their shoes. I don't know. I just like the whole brand, I guess. Um, but I love this wallet, and it's just like a wallet one. It opens up like an accordion sort of thing, but, you know, one time I flashed my wallet, and it was a mistake. <laughs> it's like, even if you saw, like, the top of the numbers, people were able, I don't know, it's crazy. Some people are crazy. I mean, the ones that watch me are not so crazy, but I think people just, like, scour these videos for that information. It's weird. Um, and then I have my planner. This is my Kiki K planner, and, um, yeah, I just carry that with me because I literally write my life in here, like, where I gotta be, time, groceries, addresses, like just everything is in this little planner and I'm just so old school, I just love planners, I don't know, I make notes on my phone but this thing is like my life basically so this always comes with me, it's like the perfect size, it's the medium size for anyone who is wondering. Um, and then I have a Godiva receipt, yep, that's it, Godiva receipt, uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually could be junk. I don't know why I threw that in the to keep pile because I'm kind of cleaning up my purse. It's like cleaning out my purse with me. Um, this is just a checkbook, which again, I don't need to. I always keep that in there too because I feel like my life is writing checks. I write so many checks, you guys. Like when you're self employed, you are always writing checks out to other people. This is my makeup bag. It is another Saint Laurent makeup bag. Um, and I like this one because it's not so wide, it's kind of more sleek. Like, it's more um, narrow. And so, yeah, I like it. It's a bright pink. It's really pretty. And I just keep, like, my basics. I mean, it's literally just gloss, oil wipes, and, like, I don't know, eyelash glue, lip balm. I mean, I'll just show you some things. Like, tweezers. Like, literally the things that I always had to have. Tweezers, lip balm, or lip gloss. And I have so many oil wipes. Like, 
yeah. And then I have a Givenchy powder in here, actually, that I really like. I literally just put off a bit of my lipstick, so, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, and then I have a, um, some Midol, just, like, really, just, like, nude glosses, just, like, that's pretty much it. Oh, and eyelash glue, which is way at the bottom. Eyelash glue I always carry, too, and I think I have an eyeliner, but I don't always carry eyeliner, but just in case I need to touch up my bottom eyeliner, I put that in there as well. And this is actually packed pretty full for me. Oh, and a hair tie. Everyone always needs a hair tie. Um, but I don't usually, again, I kind of just threw that in for my shoot. And I do carry this around a lot. This is a very bulky item for a purse. Um, I don't know. If you guys know any cases that you can put the camera and the lens in separately, because I just feel like it's so bulky to just kind of have this in there. And I also feel like it's kind of dangerous to the camera. So, yeah. If you guys know, this is my Sony Next 6 camera, and I'm obsessed with this. I've talked about this so many times, but honestly, this is like the best camera I've ever owned in my life to take pictures. Like, it takes the best selfies, the best pictures. It's like, oh, it makes everyone flawless in the picture. So, if you're obsessed with pictures and want really good quality pictures, definitely, definitely get this camera. It is, it's literally everything. I carry this with me everywhere I go. It's like the most amazing thing ever. And then I have a giant Henry Bendel mirror, which I feel like has been in a What's My Purse before because I've had this mirror so long and I love it so much. It's all mirror, like both sides are mirror. I don't want to like blind you. Oh, I got it out to my teeth. Uh, so yeah, both of these sides are mirror and it's like so huge. Like, look how big it is. Like, size of my earrings. So big and, um, that is Henry Bendel and I love it because, you know, you always need a mirror and you don't want to like squint to look in a mirror. You want to get the full effect. So, yeah, that is from Henry Bendel and I love it. I got it so long ago, but it's like literally my best investment ever. Um, then I have some Clorox to go wipes, which comes in handy because I'm a mess all the time. I have a little Pure Seduction by Victoria's Secret in here. I love this so much. I've been so into body sprays lately. This was another receipt that just fell out. Oh, that was two Lucille's barbecue. Um, but yeah, I've been loving body mist so much more than perfume lately. I don't know what it is. I think they don't last as long, but they definitely have a sweeter smell to them. Or maybe not so sweet. Maybe it's not as sweet as perfume. I don't know. Perfumes, I like perfumes, but sometimes they smell a little old lady-ish. Like, I, I really like body mist. They, they feel very young and fresh to me. Um... This is the strap to my camera. <laughs> it's great that that's off. I, I do like to have that on, so I need to put that on. Um, then I have my Betsy Johnson Kleenexes, which always come in handy. I love these little things. They just look like that. I use these, like, all the time. They come in a three-pack, so you get a lot with them. Um, then I have some Advil. Is this expired? Oh, no, for 16. Got some Advil. You always have to check the expiration date on these because I swear to goodness, this stuff goes bad so quickly. Or maybe I just don't realize how long I had something. I don't know. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at all this junk in my purse. So much junk. So much junk. I just have another one of those little, little bullet plant things. Another receipt. Let's see what this receipt is to. Oh, it was a car wash. Get rid of that receipt. I have my Mophie charger for my phone. It's just an external battery. You get it on the Mophie website for my phone. Um, these I always have the... I always have these in my bag because I always have, like, the idea to put these on my bag because my friend Jeff got these for me forever ago from the Beverly Hills Hotel. It's just, like, luggage tag, and I always want to put them on my bag, but, like, I never have the right bag to put them on. But I'm always like, oh, I'm going to put this on this bag, or I'm going to put it... I don't know, but I actually probably don't need those to carry on on a daily basis, so I'm going to put that over there. Um, then I have some cotton swabs, which I actually don't use these either that often, so I haven't used one, I don't think. But I always think I need these two, like, for makeup touch-ups or for my ears or I don't know. But probably don't need that in my everyday purse, so I'll keep that out. And this is a charger, but it's just one for the computer. Oh, I have to find the little thing. Like, I literally don't ever charge my phone unless it has one of those, like, little things for the wall. So if I don't find that... This one will stay out as well, but I always seem to need chargers. Another receipt for the movies. Uh, what movie do we see? Well, I guess it's not ticket on there, is there? No, that's just for popcorn nachos, which costs us $20. Um, then we have some Trader Joe's caramel wedges. I think I've only had, like, one of these, but I don't know. I always carry candy because I always feel like I'm going to get hungry. So, I, always, I don't know. I don't really love dark chocolate, but I think I said Trader Joe's and pick this up because... I'll tell you what, when you're hungry, like really hungry, like literally this would taste like a full steak and lobster meal when you're like starving. So I got one of these once and I remember it was really good, but I don't need one right now. I was going to eat one just for the sake of eating one, but I didn't. This is for Mrs. Fields cookies receipt. I have so many receipts. Ugh. I have a random, oh my gosh, this is from the go-kart 
adventure that I went on with Drew and Shane. If you guys are not subscribed to my second channel, Trisha's Life, we did a vlog there, but what is it? A racing license? I love it. So cheap. Just like marker Trisha. Um, I guess I don't really, should I put that? I don't know. Like, am I going to go back there? Probably not. Um, oil absorbing wipes, clean and clear, and this coffee made to go, which I have not used, but I mean, it's a really clever idea because I feel like I always need creamer in my coffee. Case in point, when I was on the plane and they just had milk and I just, I can't just, I can't take coffee with milk. I need creamer and I just, oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> Do you guys see? I'm always dropping something. I always need creamer and of course I didn't have my Givenchy bag in Vegas with me, but always need creamer. But this I have used. It's my Arnold Palmer half and half iced tea lemonade liquid water enhancer. So if you just have like a water, like a glass of water at someone's house or a water bottle, you can squeeze this in. And these just, it's the same thing. It just pops open. It has a little squeeze like those Mio things. And you can get lemonade and iced tea in water. And it's so yummy. These things are like heaven. Every time I go to the store, I pick one up because it's so good. It tastes like a regular Arnold Palmer iced tea like you would just order. Um, got some Trader Joe's organic ginger mints. And then I have some Trader Joe's green tea infused mints, which are good, like, kind of caffeinated mints. This is the case to my sunglasses thing. Um, this was when I was in Vegas with my mom, but I did not bring this bag to Vegas. Um, I just saw them at my mom's house and I grabbed them because they're just like gummy ice dice. Gummy dice. Gummy ice. Gummy dice. And so I just grabbed those. Um, do I need to pick that around? Probably not. Um... We have a quarter and a penny. I have a Sharpie. Ugh, I don't know. I carry Sharpies around and I really don't ever use them. But I feel like I feel like this I cannot not carry around because I feel like I will need it. And I'll be like, oh, this is another one to my glasses case. But the sunglasses are a different one. I have some Dramamine. Dramamine. Um, if you're motion sickness. Oh, my God. I should give this to Shane at the go-kart race. If, you're motion, if you get motion sickness, these are really good um, for that. I get motion sickness in the car a lot. So I always carry these around. Um, but I actually got these for the cruise and... I think they're still good. Oh yeah, 2016. So yeah, these are amazing. If you get motion sickness just off the slightest things, like being in a car too long, these are actually really good for you. Um, or it really helps me anyways. This is a YouTube space pass trepatus, trepatus, which I don't need to be carrying that around. Do I even need it? No, I guess not. This is pretty much it for my main pocket then. Just a couple more things. I have a pink Sharpie. I have a crystal pin for writing my checks. <laughs> Check life though. I have a little valet ticket in LA and then I have another receipt for a car wash. All of the car washes and I have some hand sanitizer which I was looking for this the other day because they did not have soap. Where was I that they did not have soap? I don't know. They did not have soap but I kind of forgot I had that. I was going to check too. I'm like, oh, I my hand sanitizer. It's at the bottom of my purse. Good thing I looked. And another quarter and there's nothing. Oh. Just in this like little side pocket right here on this side, just a ticket to Unfriended, and then the receipt. It's a pretty good movie. Follow me on Trish's life. You can see here's another movie ticket to Get Hard. Okay, Get Hard. Um, actually, I was gonna do a video on that. I should say the ticket. I'm gonna do a video talking about that. Okay, so then in the inside main pocket right here, I have like a, it's like a deep pocket. There's actually quite a bit of stuff in there. <clears throat> so, just pulling it out, I have my business cards, which I don't think have my phone number. No, they do. So, these are what my business cards look like. It doesn't have my phone number on it. It just has all my social media stuff, so I just give it to people. I don't know. And not only it's a very thing where it's like, oh, do you have a card? I just feel like it's easier to exchange information if you have a card. And I have, like, my picture on the back of them. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of, like, cheesy, but they, they come in handy. Actually, yeah, I put those in my wallet because normally they're in my wallet. I'll have a couple dollar bills. And then I have, um... Oh, the little Givenchy thing. Oh, it's, this is what came with my purse, and it is the Antigona medium bag. And it is calf, so if you're vegan, don't get it. But, yeah, that just comes in the bag, so I just kept it there. Um, and then I have my, another little compact. This is a little baby. Um, it looks like a MacBook. People are like, oh, my God, is that a MacBook? It's so funny because it actually does look like a MacBook. Like, this is the mirror, the screen. But look how, like, baby that is. Isn't that so funny? It looks like a tiny little MacBook. People, like, thought it was, and then... Let me turn around. It looks like drawing a little Mac. It's like really cute, actually. I got this from Shop Jean. I think they have them on eBay too, but I think I got mine from Shop Jean. And then I'll just grab some more. I have some Bliss Sex Deep Renewal. I've got my key to my car, which is always in there because, you know, another business card. My house keys are in my. So my house keys and my car keys are separate. My house keys are actually in there because. 
I grab my house keys on the way out, which I should just put in my purse, but I don't know. I always like peep in my door and then grab them on the way out. Oh, it like, looks like a little leather sample, maybe if your bag gets ruined and something else that probably came with the bag. I have this Elizabeth and James Nirvana in white. I love this perfume. This was like a hundred point prize at Sephora. Best smelling perfume ever. It's better than the black. I have the full size Elizabeth and James black, but oh my gosh, this is like ten times better. And I'm not kidding. Like it is so, so good. It smells, oh, it smells so amazing. Um, it's really cute. And then these I got mints are girls best friends just from like one of those like cheap little Vegas touristy spots. And I think that is it. Yeah. So that is my what's in my purse video. It's a little updated one. It's I guess summer, but it's not really summery edition. But I love this purse so much that I wanted to do it. And like I said, it fits quite a bit. I think the only con is it kind of loses. Maybe I put too much in it. I feel like it kind of loses a little shape, or maybe it's just mine. Like I feel like this doesn't come out. Do you see what I'm saying? Look how straight that is. Is that how these are supposed to be, or does this is this too far out? Maybe I just stretched it out. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Does that look a little off on this side and a little more on this side? I don't know. Maybe I'm nuts, but yeah. My little Fendi monster. So that is it for my what's in the purse. I hope you guys enjoyed my what's in my purse. Are you guys liking my gray hair? What do we think about this? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling myself, feeling myself, feeling myself, feeling myself. So I dyed it gray for my lost and found video. Well, I wanted to do it gray, but I wanted to do it different for my music video. And we're shooting that really soon, so I'm excited about that. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And surprisingly, there was not that much stuff that I didn't eat in my purse. Like, everything I needed. So, there is that. Um, <laughs> I was surprised. I thought I carried around a lot of useless crap, but a lot of stuff I do use on the regular but I love you guys so much and thank you guys so much for watching I wish I could show you more of this top but it's a little cold in here so nipples need to be covered but I love you guys so much thank you for watching as always I want to say hi trick Moranis and until next time here my kisses for my little baby fishies bye guys